Hello Curious Minds, I'm Miles Maxer and welcome back to the Ant Network. One of the most common challenges that ant keepers face is escape prevention and containment. Fluon is a ubiquitous tool used in insect laboratories and by ant keepers around the world. When applied correctly, it can be an effective barrier for months or even years. Fluon, also known as Insectislip, is a paintable Teflon solution that is applied as a liquid and dries as a smooth, thin layer. Ants and other insects have grappling hooks on their feet called tarsal claws. Combined with sticky structures called pretarsal pads, these adaptations allow ants to scale vertical walls and mostly smooth surfaces, like glass. Teflon is a particularly smooth surface, and ants generally cannot grip fluon, making it an ideal escape prevention tool. I prefer to use diluted fluon. I combine one part fluon with three parts distilled water. This seems to be just as effective, but it uses less fluon and it dries clearer. When applying fluon, I use a fan brush or a cotton swab, depending on the size of the outworld. In this case, we're going to use the fan brush. To get nice even lines, I apply painter's tape along the plastic. When using a fan brush, apply thin, even coats from a bottom-up approach. Turn the box on its side, so extra liquid does not run down and create unsightly streaks. Do not apply it horizontally, as this may create ladder-like layering that the ants can use to climb up. Curved containers are the easiest to apply Fluon to. If you are using a container with right angle corners, make sure the entire surface is coated. Keep the box inverted until the Fluon dries, which usually takes a few minutes. I prefer to apply two coats, letting it dry between each. Fluon works best when paired with a vented lid. If the relative humidity exceeds 80%, the Fluon will rapidly fail and its effectiveness will be significantly diminished. After a few months, you may need to reapply the Fluon. To do so, get a soft, moist cloth and simply wipe it away. It's all right if some of it doesn't come off, so long as you are able to create another smooth layer. Be careful not to scratch the plastic or glass. If you found this quick tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And while you're at it, drop a like so that we can reach more ant enthusiasts. Thanks for watching.